the longest time prophecy which one is the longest time prophecy in the Bible there are many time prophecies mentioned in the Bible you have heard of 12 60 years you have had another prophecy 1290 years Bible prophecy you have had 1335 year prophecy and we have another one 2300 years time prophecy I've only mentioned time prophecies which cover a period more than 1000 years 1260 years appears in several chapters of the Bible some of them it's mentioned in the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25 where it's mentioned as time times and dividing over time time represents a year so this one year times represents two years and dividing over time represents a half a year this is equal to three and a half years prophetic time converting this to years or to number of days this is going to give you exactly 1260 days which are equivalent to 1260 prophetic years 1290 years is mentioned in the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 11 13 35 is mentioned in the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 12 2300 years is mentioned in the book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 14 of the four time prophecies mentioned it seems that 2300 years is the longest of all this I want to show you now the beginning and the end of 2300 year time prophecy we must have a beginning somewhere here which we don't know and we must have an end here which we don't know and in the middle here we must have a period covered 2300 years the book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 14 the Bible says and he said unto me unto two thousand and three hundred days then shall the sanctuary be cleansed so the two thousand three hundred years is the time allotted after which the sanctuary shall be cleansed what is the beginning Daniel 9 25 says know therefore and understand that from going forth of the commandment to restore now we want to ask ourselves when did the commandment to restore go forth according to history the third decree of restoring Jerusalem and building of the city and the streets went forth in the year 457 BC the Bible mentioned in verse 24 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city the Bible says only 70 weeks are for the Jews beginning 457 BC we have 70 weeks one week is equivalent or is equal to seven days what will be what will be 70 weeks 
will be how many days? This is going to be equal to 70 multiplied by 7 and this is going to give us 490 days. And remember these are prophetic days. Therefore, from the beginning, 457 BC, to a certain time, we have a whole 490 years, which the Bible shows to be 490 days. And the Bible continues to say in verse 25, Know therefore and understand that from going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto Messiah the Prince shall be seven, seven weeks and a three score and a two. Seven weeks, seven weeks and three score, three score is sixty and Two, this is going to give you a total of 69 weeks. 69 weeks is equivalent to 483 days, prophetic days. Now, from the beginning here to a certain place, which will end somewhere here, we have 483 years. This 483 will bring us to the year 2780. The Bible says it will bring us to Messiah, the Prince. This is the year that Messiah was anointed. The year that Jesus Christ was baptized. The 490 years will come or will bring us to the year 3480. When the probation of the Jews as a nation was closed by stoning Stephen. We have one week from 27 to 34 AD. Let's expand this one week a little. This one week, let's expand it. This is one week running from 27 AD to 34 AD. This is Jesus, Messiah anointed, that is baptism of Jesus. Baptism of Jesus. And 34 AD, Stephen was torn. Start. Now let's go to the Bible and hear what it says. The Bible says in verse 26, After three score and two weeks, the Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And at the end there shall be with flood, and unto the end of the war desolation are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many, for one week. The one week mentioned that Jesus will confirm the covenant is from 27 AD to 34 AD. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. From 27 AD to 34 AD, in the middle, the Bible says he shall cause the sacrifices and oblation to cease. The middle point of 27 AD and 34 AD is 31 AD. How did Jesus Christ cause the sacrifices to cease? By offering himself a sacrifice by crucifixion. At 31 AD, Jesus Christ was crucified or he died confirming what the Bible says. If from 27 to 34 AD is one week, which is seven years, 27 to 34 AD 
27 to 31 AD will be three and a half years and 31 34 will be three and a half years. 34 AD covers a total of 490 years, remaining with 1810 years. These years brings us to the year 1844 AD. What happened in the year 1844 AD? The Bible says that the sanctuary shall be cleansed. Which sanctuary cleansed? You remember when Jesus was crucified, all the sacrifices and oblations on earth ceased. Therefore, the sanctuary cleansed is not the earthly sanctuary, but the sanctuary in heaven. That is to say, from the year 1844 AD, Jesus began his work of cleansing the sanctuary in heaven. This is briefly what the Bible says about the longest time prophecy. More details will be provided in the coming videos. May God bless.